everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday night. I hope you guys have all had a great week so far. Mine's been busy. It's been hectic. And I am so, so glad it's the weekend. I don't know why I say that because usually every weekend is packed full of the same chaotic craziness. But you know what? At least I get to sleep in and uh, get some downtime with my family. Today we get to play with some new makeup. I have bought quite a bit of new things. I've also gotten a few things from PR that I can't wait to share with you. I am so excited about those things as well. So I decided to do a makeover on this look. So if you would like to see what I got, what I'm going to use, then go ahead and keep on watching. Here I am in all my glory. I know you guys always say, oh, Michelle, you don't ever have any breakouts. Oh, but I do. Look at these lovely red marks all over my face. I hate to be on camera without makeup. So let's get some makeup on first. I've already primed my eyes. I already did my eyebrows. So let's just get into it. I bought this palette um, at Ulta during the 20% off coupon that was a couple weeks ago. I just went in Ulta. I needed nothing. I wanted nothing. And I'm like, I'm just going to go get whatever kind of calls to me. I saw this Pure Cosmetics Visionary palette and it called to me. This palette has such beautiful pinky, purpley, shimmery, and matte tones. Isn't that gorgeous? It really seriously jumped off the shelves into my basket. I don't know how that happened, but I'm really glad um, I did. I bought it. I played with it a couple times and I really, really am enjoying the way that these shadows are performing. I've never owned anything from Pure Cosmetics before, so I was a little skeptical and I've not heard anyone talking about this palette, but it was so pretty. I decided to give it a go. So that's what we're going to use on my eyes. We are going to go in with this shade right here for the transition and just put that right here in the middle did you see how pigmented that is I mean wow next I'm going to take this color right here it's called tycoon it's a little bit of a darker brown and I'm just going to go a little bit lower than the crease and kind of concentrate that here on the outer corner we're going to go here with this kind of a pinky color. It is so pretty. It is a shimmery color. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Look at how pretty and pigmented these are. They're so, so pretty. They blend really nicely. And I've been really, really impressed with how easy these are to use. Now I'm going to go in with this purple color. It is a purple eggplant shimmer. It's called Optimist. And I'm just kind of mixing that on the outer corner of my eyes just to kind of blend it. Not real precise, just to give it a little bit of a more purpley tint. So actually that is looking a little bit darker than what I wanted. I don't want a big smoky eye. So I'm going to go in with this color. This is dreamer and it's a really pretty shimmery champagne and I'm going to wow just pop that here on the center of the lid just to lighten things up a little bit yeah that's exactly what I needed we will do the lower lash line in just a bit but I'm going to go in with my primer this is from Milani this is prime and protect I really, really like this because it has SPF in it. This is SPF of 30. So I feel like I'm getting extra protection with a SPF primer. And it really goes on nice. Kind of feels like a lotion. It's a little tacky, which helps your foundation stick. But I've been super, super happy with how that performs. Next up for foundation, I'm going to be using my new Misha BB Cream. I talked about this in my foundation video that I did with my friends a couple weeks ago. This is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, and I get this in number 13. This is the lightest color, and I think there was a little bit of a confusion when um, I said that I was the second lightest color. I think I put that in the description by mistake. I do have the lightest color. I remember talking to the girl when I was at Riley Rose, the store where I bought it, and I I was really kind of debating on which color to get I ended up getting the lightest color so that is what I use and you know what it just it blends out perfectly so I have my little beauty sponge from Maybelline which I love 
And I just put one pump on there, as you saw, and I'm just going to kind of just smash that all over my skin. I'm taking just a couple more dots and I am concentrating it where I need just a little bit more coverage. Um, this is, I would say, a medium Probably a, a light to medium coverage, but you can build it up, and that's what I love. It doesn't look heavy and cakey, but that really, really helped conceal some of those blemishes that I have. I love this, too, because it is SPF of 42. I think it's very similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream that everyone loves, um, and it's like half the price. So I've been super, super happy with it. And look at the glow. It's so pretty. I love the finish. Because I have blemishes, I have been using this. This is from It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Breakout Concealer. Y'all, this has a, um, a drying agent in it as well to help dry up your blemishes. This stuff is amazing. I get the color fair. I have really, really enjoyed this. It stays on, it conceals, and it almost stings when you put it on because you can tell it is... Uh, really healing. I love the color on my skin. Let me do a couple more dots here. So I just dot it on and then I take a concealer brush and I just kind of blend it in. For concealer, I just dotted this Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Concealer underneath my eyes and I'm going to just kind of blend that in with my sponge again. I love the sponge. I love how it curves and it just kind of gets right up in there. I love this so much. The concealer is really nice. It's very lightweight. I wouldn't say it is a really high coverage concealer. I mean, it does what it needs to do, but it's really, really light. It's not real cakey, and I like that it doesn't kind of get up and settle underneath my fine lines. I've been having a really hard time with a lot of redness around my eyes, like just around my whole eye socket. And you know what I think it is? I think it's from that Grande Lash um, Lash Serum that I've been using. I've been using that for about three weeks now. I haven't seen a whole lot of difference in my eyes, but every time I wake up in the morning and until I put my makeup on, my whole eye socket is red. And that's the only thing that I can think of that I've been doing differently. So I don't know, have any of you guys experienced that as well? Let me know. I may be having like an allergic reaction to it. For powder, I've got my loose powder here from Maybelline Fit Me. This is the loose powder, which I'm absolutely in love with. It is so finely milled. It works underneath my eyes, all over my face. So during the summertime, I give it just a light dusting to help set all of my foundation. I get the color Fair Clair, and it is perfect. So for my under eyes, I just go in with my little sponge that I was just using for my concealer and I just set it underneath my eyes and kind of dab it. And then I take my big old brush. This is from uh, Walmart. This is the powder brush. And then I just take it and just kind of smash it and lightly dust it all over the rest of my face. Let's go back to the eyes. I have this really new cool product from Lottie London. They sent this to me. I was so excited that I got it in the mail. I got some other Lottie London goodies and then I got some Ciate London goodies that I'll be talking to you about as well. But I got this one. This is called the Stamp Liner. And on one side, it has a felt tip marker type liner. And then on the other side, it has a stamp that is supposed to give you the perfect wing. So let's try it out. I've got the stamp side. I'm going to just position this. <laughs> I don't know. I am not good at wings, but I'm just going to put that kind of right here at the edge of my eye and just press firmly. Wow. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, you know what? Like I said, I don't usually wear winged eyeliner, but that's a pretty good, at least it's a good marker for me to go in with the, um, the rest of my eyeliner. So this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna to try to get them to look the same. Look at how easy that is, guys. Oh my gosh. 
pretty cool. So I'm going to take the other side now and I'm going to just take that and draw on the rest of my liner. Oh, this is so easy. Look at that. I don't usually wear um, liquid eyeliner all that much. Okay, you all saw that. That was what, 20 seconds? Look at how pretty that is. Let's go in with the other eye. I'm gonna start here in the front and just kind of draw it on. Oh, it's so easy. It is just like putting a marker on. I will have to say this is kind of thick. I wish this was a little bit thinner, but I'm just gonna take the edge here and match it up. Wow. Okay, that one's thicker. <laughs> That's my problem too. This one's thicker than this one, but I'm okay with it. I mean, you know what? I think it probably takes a little bit of a practice, but this is really cool. I know that they sell Lottie London at Ulta. So if you guys like wings, this might be your new best friend. Going back to the palette, I'm taking this eggplant purpley color. This is called, again, Optimist. I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. Again, just to give my eyes a little bit more of a purple color. And then I am going to top it off with some new mascara. I just bought two of the new products from L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have the primer and then I have the uh, mascara. I've had the mascara before. This came in like an extra limited edition um, package with some of the blingy top. So let's turn into these and see what these do. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer. Look at the brush. It looks just like the uh, mascara brush. It is kind of a big brush and the product looks pink. So we will just put this on my lashes and see how this does at giving me some extra volume. The whole idea of priming your eyelashes is a pretty good one, although I have to say it's a little bit extra having that extra step. But you know what? If it's going to give me some extra volume, extra length, I am all about it. Now I'm going to go in with my new brand spanking new Lash Paradise Mascara. As I said, I've had this before and I really liked it. I found that it dried up really fast for me. I don't know if I like left the, the top off or something, but um, yeah, this looks pretty good. So I know that my really nice black eyeliner is kind of hiding the eyelashes, but overall I really like this. I think it's kind of an extra step using a primer, but it definitely gave me some good length and good volume. Just went in with my favorite bronzer. This is from Chanel. This is the Chanel 10 Day Chanel. I just put that all over my cheeks. It's not new, but I did have to put some bronzer on. I don't have a new bronzer to use, but I am super excited to show you this new blush palette that I got from my sweet bestie Marlene. Hey, Marlene. She got this for me for my birthday. I mean, oh my gosh, can you even believe that I got a By Terry blush palette from my sweet friend for my birthday? I cannot thank her enough. Y'all, these are my colors all day long. I have wanted one of these for so long and she got it for me. I could not be more happy. I love these colors so much. So how I use this, I just like to take my brush and literally just swirl it all around and just dust it on. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna take it over here. That's probably not what you need to be doing, but I love all the colors. And so then I just lightly dust it on my cheeks and I just get the prettiest, pinky, perfect color for my skin. I think it's beautiful. It wears all day. It smells great. You can tell by Terry is a really great quality brand because it does last. I don't really find it fading throughout the day at all. It just keeps that beautiful, 
pretty matte color. There are some shimmery shades in here, but when you kind of mix them all together, it just goes on so pretty. It gives you like a, a nice, almost a satiny finish. I love it, love it, love it. For highlighter, we're going to try today this new product from Lottie London. Again, I said that they sent me a couple goodies to try out. This is one of them. I haven't tried it yet. It looks really cool. This is the Shimmer Squad 4-Piece Powder Highlighter Quad. And I love the packaging on this. It's so cute. I think, again, you can get Lottie London at Ulta. It is a really nice, lightweight cardboard package. And this is what it looks like. There is a mirror in here, which I love. And then it comes with four shimmering highlights, which are beautiful. And I'm gonna use a combination of these two colors. They are so pretty and natural. I just love dusting these on the tops of my cheeks and giving my skin just kind of that extra healthy glow. It's not like overpowering crazy. But it's really, really nice. You don't need a lot. Like I said, I just kind of tapped in that. And I just think it is beautiful for the summer. Lastly, for lips, we are going to try one of these new Glitter Flip Liquid Lipsticks from Ciate London. They sent me these as well. And if you guys want to swatch a video on these, these are awesome. You know I'm all about the bling. I am all about the glitter. And when I decided to try the Lottie London version, I featured that in a prior video. I was completely, completely sucked in. And I thought, where have these been all my life? They actually saw the video that I posted and they decided to send me some other things. So they sent me these to try and I'm super, super excited about all these colors. They came out with some nude colors, which I just absolutely love. I think it's so pretty just to have a really nice nude lip with some extra sparkle. That's what we're gonna do today. I think I'm going to try Whisper. It is in that color right here. I think it'll go with nicely with my very look. And then again, if you want me to do a swatch video on these, let me know. I would love to do that for you. But what these are, these again are a liquid lipstick. You just put them on, you let them dry for two minutes, and then they turn magical. This color is absolutely beautiful on its own. This is an everyday color that I would wear, no questions asked. But once you rub your lips together, like I said, you've gotta wait two minutes. Once you rub your lips together, there is a beautiful glittery action that's going to reveal itself and just give your lips that extra dimension. So let's go ahead and do it and see how it works and uh, hope it's beautiful like I think it will be. <gasps> It's pretty. It's like a gold glitter. Last up in the game, we're going to go in with my new Morphe setting spray. I've heard such great things about this. I've used it now a couple times. I can see what the hype is about. I love the way it just gives you that continuous spray, but it also smells really good and it also does the trick. I really, really like this a lot. So that does it for my final look. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me play with my new makeup. You may be thinking to yourself, hmm, Michelle, didn't you say that you were going on a no-buy this summer? And the answer to that is yes. <laughs> yes, I did say that. But you know what? Honestly, I've been on a low buy. I haven't been on a no buy like I said I was going to be. I mean, let's be real. This is what makes me happy. I love doing it. I love playing makeup. I love getting all the new things. And I really have been trying to be selective. Um, so I haven't gotten everything that I wanted, but I did uh, splurge here and there. So I hope you all have enjoyed. Obviously, let me know if you have tried any of these. Leave me comments down below. I always love hearing from you. I love hearing what your thoughts are. And with that, I think we're done. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Mwah!